Hey everybody, I'm so glad that you could join us tonight for Complon. I'm Cami Shade. And I'm Bill Shade. Are you ready to get started? The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 31, 1 through 5. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with every good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. O Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and draw far from it all the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray that you will keep watch with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Now is a time for um, intercession and thanksgivings or um, even silence. Oh, eternal God, bless all the schools, colleges, and universities, especially in this time of COVID-19 and virtual learning that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery, and pursuit of wisdom, and grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth yes, Jesus. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer you thanksgiving. We praise you, O God, with gladness and humility for all the joys of life, for health and strength, and for the love of friends, for work to do, and for play. We thank you for the adventure of life, and above all, we thank you for your gift of Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
for the blessings that have come to us through his body, the church. Help us to show our thankfulness, not only with our lips, but in our lives, always endeavoring to do what shall please you. Amen. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth, to comfort one another without hatred or bitterness, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer prayer for our nation in this tumultuous election year. Almighty God, look with favor upon our land and people, all undeserving. You have made us great among the nations of the earth. Let us not forget that this place and this power have come from you and that we have them as a trust to use in your service. Save us from pride and arrogance. Make us quick to see the needs of those less fortunate than ourselves and to be resolute in promoting goodwill and fellowship among all people, Lord. I ask this in your name. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. And we ask these things in your name. God us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free. To go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thanks for joining us tonight. We hope you have a really great week. Good night.